We are here at the end of the first day at the Digital Insurance Agenda at the Westergasfabriek in Amsterdam. An amazing event about insurance technology, which is not cool normally. And this, I can tell you, is really cool. And 800 people came from all over Europe to, and to get this event going. And it all started, Roger, with a book. What was this book called? Uh, Reinventing Customer Engagement. We just published it. And basically what we do here today is totally in line, totally in sync with what we wrote in the book. Yeah. And uh, what, what, what time? You live in uh, Barcelona, I think, right? Barcelona. Yeah, so how, how do you two together uh, to, come up, to come up with an event like this? Well, we actually know each other quite some time already. Yeah. 15 years ago, I still lived in Holland and we were colleagues. And we've been working since 25 years for major insurance companies and banks. And actually what we notice is a huge demand to be connected to tech companies. And well, we saw that gap, nobody filled it, and in the end we did. Yeah. And when was the first idea that you came up with, hey, we need to do something cool for insurance companies yeah. in tech? Well, we were at Finnovate 2015 uh, and we always get together, we hang out in the same hotel and we were talking about the fact that indeed there's so much happening, nobody's doing anything for those poor insurers who always walk behind the beat. And we basically talked about it and the boys kicked it off and I joined up a little later and we did it. And it was a huge gamble last year, we put a lot of effort in and we... Yeah, only because you started with the first event in Barcelona, Barcelona. right? And I, I met a lot of people here. And I said, why are you here? Well, we heard that there was a great insurance event in Barcelona. <laughs> and then people come from all over Europe here. I mean, did you ever, was that the whole idea to have such a cool, to combine coolness and high tech and insurance? Was that the idea in Barcelona? That's exactly the idea. So uh, com combining content with, with coolness, of course, InsurTech, um, they try to be different than the incumbents. Um, many manage to, and we want to combine those two worlds. What is the basic idea? Because, I mean, this is not like speaker A, speaker B, speaker C. There's a lot of show and tell. What is it all about? The whole idea is that we give uh, people an opportunity at a very quick glance to get an idea of what the possible ways are to digitization insurance. Whether you're an optimizer, transformer or a disruptor, there are companies that can help you. And people get an idea in nine minutes. Long so you only have nine, 50 companies here with nine minutes. And, and you really can see that they're not. some of them are excellent at presenting and some of you, you've coached into uh, presenting cool. Eh? Well, you should talk to Reggie because an enormous effort goes into Reggie, how did you get, because I met people who were extremely insurance-like and they gave on stage a really reasonable, uh, reasonable presentation. How do you do that? Uh, several things. First of all, it starts in the selection process. So you really have to uh, be able to show something concrete. No vision, stories on PowerPoint, and concrete solution. Lots of demos, nice demos. Yes, exactly, it should be, should be innovative, of course. And in the end, it should also have strategic impact. So what we mean by it, not just an idea, something really proven already. Roger? Yeah, well, I think you know, what, what Reggie is, uh, is missing is that his, he and his team actually looked at thousands of insurtechs all over the globe, and we selected 54. So you can imagine the whole selection process. And we got people on stage from Australia, from Brazil, you just mentioned Europe. Well, the audience actually is built up of 40 different nations, six continents. So really, it's a blast. Okay. Now, who came up? How you have a nice concept? You let 50 of the hottest, interesting technology startups in the insure tech. But then, how do you get all these people here? I mean, you had 600 people in uh, Barcelona and 800 people there. How did you do that? I think we walked the talk. So we deployed the, exactly the marketing mechanisms that we're promoting to insurers. So do the data analytics, do the social mining, and that's how we did our list. Yeah, very cool blog, very cool blog, very good content. Uh, you get involved every every day, and uh, so that's really, um, what was the division of labor? What, 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 so you basically helped to find the right uh, the startups and to train them to make a decent story. What was your role? Uh, the content. Creating the blogs, basically that's what I did. And I think the three of us uh, were uh, very complimentary in getting the audience together, getting the partners together, the sponsors that also made this possible. And uh, I think we have the same feel about what style is, uh, how we like things to look. And that's also, so people should feel at home and it should be our home. Uh, they should be our guests. We feel like we're the hosts. Yeah, I recognize also very much the quality of the food is really makes me think about Barcelona. Uh, don't it's not Amsterdam. Don't forget the coffee. Huh? Yeah. Don't forget the coffee. Uh, we've got all those people from Italy and Spain. Yeah. If the coffee is crap, they won't like it. No. Yeah, yeah. We, we I asked. I asked from uh, the AXA, the biggest insurance company from Italy, and I get, And we were talking that 
how is the quality of the food? He says, now for Amsterdam, it's amazingly good. Yes, yeah. that's true. And after two seconds, he and I talked food. But at the same time, he gave us a compliment. He says, if you want to see all those fintechs in one room, this is the place. Yeah. In short, yeah. He was a weird guy because he was responsible for one of the biggest Italian company, the digital. Uh, he and he came from? Ferrari. <laughs> it came from Ferrari. So you are able to attract really amazing people. Having that, comp having that book where you wrote, which lots of people in the banking and insurance uh, read, is that also the, one of the basis of your uh, network? I think so, yeah, because our previous book, Reinventing Financial Services, was published worldwide in eight languages, sold more than 100,000 copies. And because of that, we're often invited, like once every week, on an international conference or in a boardroom, really across the globe, from Singapore to the US. So basically, that's also how we build our network. And also, those are basically also the people who come to our event. People yeah. still read books? Yes, they do. Yes, yes they, do. they do. Vincent? Yes, they do. <laughs> they don't only look at You write a book. It's it's, it's, it's sold 80,000 times and you're invited Vincent, to speak everywhere. I, I, I will say something more. Slow reading is the next trend. So take input in measures that you like whenever you need it. And that's what the book's excellent for because they're all case stories okay. and studies. Perfect I thought it couldn't be done, but you went from Barcelona to Amsterdam and it's really cool. The coolest venture, Westergasfabriek, the coolest food, everything looks amazing. Okay, this was the end of day one at the uh, Digital Insurance Agenda. It was a great day, it looked fantastic, we had fantastic startups. Tomorrow is next day and we're going to see where you end up next year. Thank you very much, great conference. Yeah.